happy people. Today we bring you another egg cutting. This is clutch number seven of 2023. Uh, this is the first clutch of my hypopied project to hatch this year. I have three clutches in a row. Do each do four days apart starting now. So every four days, another clutch for the next little while. Uh, I'll probably release the videos once a week though, if I can time it that way. Anyways, the pairing for this clutch was a Orange Dream Enchi Fire Leopard Pied, 100% Het Hypo, uh, who's actually also 50% Het Ultramel, uh, paired to a double Het Hypo Pied female. So the goal, of course, is to hit some Hypo Pieds. Ideally, a couple females. Uh, combo females would be great to hold back because <clears throat> I don't currently have any visual Hypo Pieds in my collection. So you can see we got two who have already pipped. Today's day 56. And they are ready to go right on time. Let's put this thing under here. So seven eggs. I think of this pairing, if I'm not mistaken, it's a one in eight chance of hitting a visual hypo pied. <clears throat> um, but anything that it comes out hypo will be 100% het pied. So it would also be an, uh, a good addition to, to my project since I don't have a lot of visual hypos uh, that are hepied. Certainly not any combo ones. I can already see that this one's hypo. I'm not sure if that comes from the camera, but the head makes it very obvious. It's very telling. Anyway, let's get into this. I'm excited for this one. Uh, yeah, we'll start with this one. Let's see, it looks like a pie that can kind of tell already. It's not hypo, I don't think. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, it's definitely a pied. I'm going to say, uh, Probably a fire pied, just based on the little bit of pattern I can see. Orange dream fire pied, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's not hypo. Very cool animal, uh, nonetheless. I'm going to guess for now that it's a, uh, I guess, orange dream fire pied head hypo. Or I guess it would be 66% head hypo. <clears throat> Luckily, genetic testing is available for that. And I'll, <clears throat> I likely will uh, get these tested, the ones that aren't visual hypos, just so I know. Well, I guess I should have cut the, the one that was already open. Eh? I'm getting excited. Well, it's another pied. Does not look like a hypo pied. I can't really see much of the pattern. better view here. Uh, I can see, a, oh yeah, I can see a little bit of the pattern. Uh, not enough to make any calls though. We'll, we'll leave it for now. First pies I've ever hatched, believe it or not. <clears throat> Actually, you know, again, I almost went my channel one. Let's see. Let's see what this guy looks like. I, like I said, I'm I'm quite certain it's hypo just from the head. Uh, there's no other genes in here that would make it look like that, as far as I know. Yeah, it's a hypo. It's not a pied though. I think it's just a. Is that just hypo? What am I looking at here? Uh, what is this, guys? Is that just a hypo? Right, hold on. I'm going to reserve judgment on that until 
thought I'd have someone else look at that. Interesting, anyway. <clears throat> okay, egg number four. Come on, hypopied. Yes. Is that a hypopied? I'm pretty sure. What do you think, guys? Pretty sure that's a hypopied, guys. Hopefully, hopefully that holds up. And I don't look silly in the uh, update half, but I'm pretty sure that's a hypopied. <clears throat> we will update the second half of this video. As always, I will uh, show them all out of the egg and we'll confirm our IDs to the best of my ability. Another pied. That's four pieds. So we're doing good on that front, odds wise. <clears throat> Don't believe it to be a hypopied. Can't really tell for sure. Let's not linger though. Let's move on so we can get to the uh, update half of the video. Another pied. Oh, gorgeous orange. Again, I don't see enough to say whether there's hype or not, although I don't think so. Uh, let's clean this up. All right. I hope this has been in frame. I never, I always forget to look at the camera while I'm doing this because I get so into what I'm looking at that I'm not paying attention to where my hands are. Another pied, guys. Okay, I like those odds because that every pied increases my odds of getting another hypo pied. What do you think? I don't know. Again, very, very hard to tell. I'm not going to even try to guess from here. But can you believe that, guys? Six out of seven pieds. Not bad for the odds. Hopefully we get a couple hypo pieds in there. I can't tell from here. I'm not going to pretend I can, although I'm pretty pretty sure that one is. I can't see enough of the pattern of the other ones to be sure, but we'll find out in just a minute because uh, we're going to have a look at them after they shed. And here we are. It's been a little over two weeks. Uh, now it's time to get these guys out of the incubator into their own tubs. I've struggled to ID these accurately. I've had to reach out to some people who know a lot better than me and get, get a lesson on how to ID um, high white pies. As you can see, there's not a ton of pattern on a lot of these guys. Uh, but I've learned a lot and I think we've got them nailed down. So let's dive in. Let's start with this animal right here. All right, so this one is an orange dream pied, possible leopard. Can't tell for sure. So we're going to call it possible leopard, but it's definitely an orange dream pied. 66% hypo. All these animals that aren't visual hypo will be 66%, just a reminder. And let's see if we can sex the animal real quick. like a male. If I can get the hemipenes out. Well, I think that's a male. I'll double check when they're a bit bigger though. It's not that important that I get it nailed down right now. So let's get this one put away. And on to animal number two. Um, let's go with the other one that is the same or similar to that one we just put away. This one is also an orange dream pied. Um, possible 
leopard. Not sure. As you can see, all these animals are really high white. Made it very challenging. Oh, come on. All right, you can let you hang. Okay. That's a male. Get him put away. Now who is next? Let's get let's get this one out of the way. So in the egg, I was looking at this one like, is this just a hypo? Because it was so bright and the contrast was so stark between the, the light and dark. So I was thinking maybe it's a fire hypo. And now that it's shed, I'm more leaning back towards just a hypo. But if I'm wrong, let me know. It could be a fire hypo. But I'm going to call it just a hypo, het pied. Beautiful ringer there. Okay. It's a male. All right. Animal number four. Uh, let's go with these guys. This one and this one. So this one, much like the first two, is an orange dream pied, but this one is, a, you know, certainly an orange dream leopard pied. There's a lot more to go on with the pattern on this one. So orange dream leopard pied. Get that out of the way. It's a female. And we'll go for this one next. This is a leopard fire pied. I thought for sure it was OD as well. So I had to kind of learn what fire and leopard do together and what more importantly what fire and orange dream do together and to, 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 learn, to learn the difference <clears throat> anyways uh fire leopard pied head hypo sorry 66 percent head hypo i think i mentioned it when i did the egg cutting but i i do plan on getting all these tested it's definitely worth it. I think it's $50 Canadian per shed that you send in. Uh, and it's worth that to find out definitive, definitively whether you have a, a hit hype or not. All right. Let's get this one put away. And then there were two. So this one is an orange dream leopard fire pied saddles a lot cleaner orange is a lot brighter it's a beautiful animal it's gonna be hard to pick holdbacks out of this clutch i gotta tell you it's another female and then last but not least the uh, the one hypopod of the clutch ended up being basically the whole uh, the whole thing I was going for. So this is an orange dream Enchi fire leopard hypopod. If you look at the eye stripes, how wide they are, it's hard to get the head to turn, but the, you know they they go right down deep. It's a really good sign of Enchi. <clears throat> so obviously orange dream fire just from how bright it is and there's enough pattern I'd say to call that leopard so that's what we're calling it orange dream enchi fire leopard hypopied 
male. Very powerful male for me to have in my collection. It's just, it's like one step up from the male that I used to uh, sire the clutch. He, he's the same animal except for a het hypo. So now we have a hypo version of that male. He might be ready to go in a eight months or so. Let's get him put away. And that is it for the video, guys. Thanks a lot for checking it out. If you're into this kind of thing, feel free to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.